Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be looking into how to create a very simple and very cheap fog effect for your game. This is a technique that uh, a lot of games have been using it for years and especially titles like World of Warcraft, they've been using this uh, distance fog to hide in distance a lot of the elements that uh, you don't want to see or the ones that uh, don't have to be rendered and also it's very cheap on performance. Now without further ado, let's roll the intro and start this tutorial. So as you can see, I already have a scene over here uh, that is being uh, set up and what you're gonna need to have inside your scene is uh, one post-process volume because we are going to add a post-process material on this volume so that we get the fog. First, let's start by uh, creating the material. So I'm just going to right click in my content browser, create material and we are going to name it MM fog or master material fog. So here, first thing that uh, we're going to do is change the type of material that we are creating. So the first thing uh, is uh, we're going to go to material domain and by default it's on surface. We're going to change this to be into post process. And now we are going to create a couple of different things. So first is uh, we're going to take uh, a scene, scene texture. And from the scene texture inputs, we are going to grab the post process input zero. This is uh, pretty much everything that is being rendered into the scene. And we are going to linear interpret that. So we just gonna grab the color from here and put it into uh, our lerp in A. Then we are gonna get a vector tree parameter, which we gonna plug into B. This is going to be the color of our fog. So I'm just going to go hold uh, three on the keyboard and left click somewhere in my material editor graph. And this thing is going to go in B. And now what we need to do is uh, for the alpha, this is uh, how exactly this volume is going to interact with the world and how it's going to be fading. So we need to use the scene depth and we are gonna right click over here and just type depth fade. And then for the depth fade, we are gonna put two parameters. So here we are just uh, putting a scalar parameter. I'm going to convert it into a parameter. So we're gonna type fade opacity. And for the second one, fade distance. And gonna hook the also in here, lerp. And as you can see, we have only one node here where we can plug our uh, parameter, our material. So we're gonna do that. And we are getting an error. So in order to fix uh, the error over here is uh, because I used uh, vector three and we need uh, actually to have an alpha as well. So I just gonna delete it, hold four, left click. This will uh, create a parameter which also has an alpha and I'll connect it to B so everything uh, will work correctly. Now to apply the uh, fog material onto our scene. We have our post-process volume uh, selected and inside the post-process volume, you need to find inside rendering features, the post-process material. So inside the arrays, we are just gonna add a new element. And here from the dropdown, we are going to choose an asset reference. Then we can drag and drop our material onto it and you can see that uh, everything works. So if I go back uh, over here, and uh, we can already start tweaking some of the parameters and get a different result. So for example, let's say we want our uh, opacity to be on 0.5. So we can do that. And uh, as you can see, it's not completely black or we can uh, go again uh, as it was, or we can even change the color. So for example, we would like this to fade, let's say something like a light blue and maybe the distance to be a little bit bigger. And there we have it. 
simple as that we have uh, our fork which is uh, actually very cheap and very easy to use inside your scenes and after that you can tweak it or you can even hook it up with a material parameter and have some sort of a global influence on the fork and everything that's happening in your game thank you for joining me in today's tutorial i hope that this was useful for you and see you next time subscribe